Right, so to open the SP-808, you need to take away the perimeter screws. So that's these ones. This, 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 this. Also need to take off the ground screw and this one. Uh, yeah, I didn't really know. <laughs> and when you get that off, epic reveal. It's the SP. There's five screws on the floppy disk. There, 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 and there. Uh, not the floppy disk, but the zip drive. And it should come out like that. And I see now that I have to um, do some tricky ass magic with the cable. So I'll have to figure that out. Uh, but this is essentially the cable that's gonna go into the Zulu, I hope. Okay, so the Zulu fits. That's the Zulu connected in the IDE. So it seems to fit, um, that's good. And I can see now that this is 3D printed. And I think that's the first time I bought anything that's 3D printed. So that's fucking awesome. Um, but other than that, we need to power this. See this one? That's a little bit of a strange um, phenomenon, let's say. It's the same thing that a GoTech has. So I need to take one of these, turn them into that. So I got I got to do some junk smithing, but I'll I'll uh, I'll tell you how to do it after I figure it out myself, of course. Uh, all right. All right. So I got the thing mounted like this. I just uh, got lazy and dremeled it, and then I figured out there's uh, a lot of stuff to do uh, to make this work. You have to find a zip image. But thankfully, I'm here, and I'm going to make your day better, because I'm going to crack open the entire SP-808 case and be the first guy on YouTube to film the Zulu Scussy in the SP-808. Hopefully, I'm going to say hopefully, because I don't want to jinx this, but yeah. So, I just want to talk briefly, very briefly, about... Um, there should be a little bit of a better manual for this. Uh, I don't wanna have to spend five hours figuring out how to turn on uh emulator I spent 150 bucks to get. And like, uh, it didn't cost 150 bucks. Yes, it did. With shipping and tax in my country, it, it cost uh, over 150 bucks, probably. So, um, but that doesn't really matter. I like this thing, it's well produced and I, I don't feel like I got scammed um, anywhere else but the actual technical documents for this thing because the manual is terrible. There is barely like two sentences of manual and like I know it works sort of similar to other devices but when you sell a device for 150 bucks there should be a pretty decent manual in my opinion. But uh, yeah, other than that, other than the manual being bad and me having to spend a whole day to getting it to work, just to getting it to work at all, I still haven't figured out the rest because it has a lot of features and they're not noted properly like you have to read it 10 times and if you read it 10 times and maybe like read between the lines and know some stuff about the Zulu Scussy you might be able to get this to work and I did uh, but I don't have a Zulu Scussy I just got lucky and I found some zip um, images because you can't use any image for this it automatically goes into zip mode uh, once you put a zip image into it, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it has to do with the... Uh, you see, I, I don't even know why this worked, but I'm going to put files in the description. You just download that, put that onto your SD card, and that should work. I'm using a Samsung Evo card, and it seems to work fine. Um, you need a SDXC micro SD card. So it's probably a newer one. And if you uh, take this um, switch and put it over here, you're going to get a debug file onto the SD card so you can read what's going on with the Zulu IDE. Um, what I did for the cable is I took one of the, these kind of thingies, but you should, probably, you should probably order one of these if you're not a junksmith like me. So that's, this is not a proper one. This is just headers. I just took headers and sort of put them onto these. But I can show you the pinout if you want. So the pinout is 
uh, starting from like with the SD card facing you, you want red, black, black, and yellow. And the SP-808 only delivers the yellow and black and black, and there's no red, but the yellow goes to the red. So that's probably, I'm assuming that's five volt plus because the other one is, uh, it's, it's either three or like two volts, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not completely sure. I'm not like, a, I'm not that much of a, of a expert or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. So you can use the Samsung Evo card. This one is 128 uh, gigabytes. And I'm going to assemble this again. I just dremeled this out, then drilled it a little bit. I got like lazy and it's not flush mounted or anything, but I got lazy. So you can do that however you want and mount that back. Um, and I'll see you when I've done that. Oh, all right. Let's turn it on. Um, it's doing the thing. And I think I've got it connected, so it should have audio right now. I'm not completely sure. Let's see if we can. I think there's audio. Hello? There is. All right. So you can see it's in sample mode. Oh, I'm so happy. You don't understand how happy I am. And there's no way to swap between the images, I guess. But you can have different SD cards. Just grab one gigabyte SD cards and have like a little case of them and then swap them. Um, I haven't tried sampling yet, but I'm going to see what it does when I do. Sampling, stereo. Woo. Oh, it says no disk space. Wait, what? Fuck, finally, I did it. So I figured out how to make the thing a zip drive file bigger. This is the worst product I've ever bought. I'm just going to be straight out. Like, you pay 150 bucks and there's no customer support and there's no manual and no one's going to help you. So that's why you have the Junksmith wizard pulling out his hair, trying to figure it out. So you can see... It's the Zulu IDE and it's blinking. I press sample. Here is my microphone. It's number three. You can see it's sampling, bitch. And that works. That fucking works. There's solid state memory on the SP. Bitch. It fucking works. Yay. I'm so happy. It's been fucking, it's been a year. It's been more than a year. And finally it works with solid state. There's no disk noise. It just fucking works. After all that fucking noise, I had to do so much fucking shit. And I had to read the GitHub like five times and it's so badly written. I still don't understand, but it works now. So the ISO you need is a SIP disk. ISO thingy and I made one and you can probably just copy that one and give it like different names and it will choose the different names zip d1 zip d2 zip d3 and I'm I think I'm gonna try and do that and then I'm gonna put it into a folder put it into a google thingy uh, and then I'm gonna put it in the description of this video so this is your source for the zip disk 100 thingy so when you need like an image file for the sp808 Zulu ide yeah, so I, I did it for you. I did it. Yay. Fucking I spent the whole day figuring this shit out, even though it's a new fucking product by people who are still in business. They can't fucking provide customer support. So fucking cool. Don't fucking buy it. Like, I want to advise you to not buy it, but I can't because it's the only memory remedy for this shiter. So go buy it and then, um, yeah, put in the thing I have in the description in the SD card. And then it should work. Thanks for watching. I'm so pissed off, but it finally works. Mixed emotions, I guess. Thanks to rabbit hole computing for <laughs> for making this happen, I guess. But yeah. Make a better manual, please. All right. Here's the startup speed.
Wait. Turn down the thingy, not up. There we are. And it's ready. So. <laughs> yeah. It's ready. That's how fast it goes. Which is awesome. I just taped this because I'm not paying extra for no 3D printing. I don't give a damn. Um, pretty much. Uh, so I'll just keep that like this. And then I'm going to overhaul the entire thingy. And I'm going to paint the SP-808 after, uh, after some stuff. I'm going to probably put some LEDs in it or something. Make it look cool. Not sure. Probably paint it black. Probably change the decal. Probably make this these LEDs a different color, maybe. I'll do something cool with this. It's pretty boring. I hate the color scheme. I'm not into red. And it doesn't fit in my studio, so we're gonna have to change it. But that's been my Zulu IDE SP-808 video. I'm, I sort of want to test... Um, uh, give me a second here. Okay, so... You can do them, you can trigger them really fast. Let me see if I can... Uh, I love the editing on this one. I just forget how you do it. Um, sample... Set sample parameters... Yes. Here it is, start point. You can just edit on the screen and it's really nice like none of the other SPs by Roland do this but it's like an SP but with with quality I guess <laughs> with some whoa that's awesome it has cool features that the SP404 doesn't have because it's like a proper mix studio and 16 pads there's 16 pads I think the 404 only has 12 or does it have 16 I can't remember but it's 16 pads hey. and you got digital like you could go through the banks oh dude I fucking love the SP-808 and it's so cool that it has solid state Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. I love this. I can make some proper like lo-fi mixes on this thing now. Oh, it triggers so fast. That's awesome. I'll also make um, this. Uh, if it's not possible, I'll make it so I can do this on a foot switch. But I think this actually has that. Because it has a foot switch. So I think you can trigger recordings with it. I'm not sure. I'll find out. <laughs>